And worry over the coronavirus is growing after the diagnosis of what is believed to be the first community spread case in the U.S. That patient is hospitalized right now in Sacramento. And those fears are sending stocks sliding this morning. Here's a live look at the numbers on Wall Street right now. The Dow is down more than 620 points. CBS 2's Kyra Finstrom is live in the Satellite Center with the latest on this story. Kyra, good morning to you. Good morning. This is worrisome because health leaders don't know who infected that patient. The CDC, however, has released a statement saying they are working right now to track down the contacts and that the risk to the public remains low. Take a look. The statement goes on to say that given our close familial, social, and business relationships with China, it's not unexpected that the first case in the U.S. would be in California. That's why California has been working closely with federal and local partners, including health care providers and hospitals, since the outbreak was first reported reported in China and we are already responding. Here's what we're learning from Sacramento. There's probably other cases out there in the community that we don't know about. Doctors at the UC Davis Medical Center fear a patient here might just be one of many who were unknowingly infected by someone with coronavirus. The individual was transferred to the center last Wednesday, already intubated and on a ventilator. He or she wasn't tested for the virus until Sunday. The results came back positive just yesterday. It's the first case of what doctors are calling community transmission. We don't know where they got it from, so the person who exposed them probably exposed others. This is one of 60 known cases in the U.S., still a relatively small number. But as the virus spreads swiftly globally, more than 82,000 illnesses are now reported in more than 40 countries. Efforts to protect Americans are growing. Your gown goes on first. Just outside New York, hospital workers are being trained to protect themselves. Right now, more than 80 people who may have been exposed in China are being kept isolated in their homes. We're in a state of high vigilance, high readiness, all elements of the city government to address this crisis. Here in the Southland, L.A. is also taking extraordinary precautions. We're disinfecting LAX every hour. Um, we're making sure that those points of entry are as secure as we can possibly make them. And in Orange County, the Board of Supervisors declared a local emergency because of the virus yesterday. The declaration would give the county's health director more power to react to any potential epidemic. But there has only been one confirmed case in the OC, and that person has recovered. The CDC also reports that about 80% of people testing positive don't have symptoms that require hospitalization. That's encouraging news for anyone who gets sick, but Suzanne DeMarco, it also makes this much tougher to track.